All right, guys, welcome, 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 everybody. Look at this insanity, this utter insanity. 830 primal shards. It's madness. You're predicting six mythicals. All right, let's uh, let me check real quick. So first, first of all, anybody watching back on this video, it is a YouTube live video, so you can uh, obviously scrub wherever you want. But um, basically, I'm just going to be doing the shard pulls today. I'm probably not going to be doing too much streaming after this. So whatever timestamp you see on the video, it is the actual shard pull session. This is probably going to be um, a solid hour at least, I'd say, because I got to open the 830 and then I got to put some champs in the vault. Maybe actually it's going to be a lot of crunching champions. So we're going to be crunching champions. Hopefully have enough space to actually do so. But I'm expecting a lot of legendaries. Now, I think I'm sure Fuzzy Wuzzy. I think I'm sure today. Thank you for the um, saving last time. Um, that would have been a disaster because I'm pretty sure this is the very first time they've ever done a boosted event for everything. People keep saying, like, there's been a Mythical 2x before, but I don't think there ever has been. I think every time they've done Primal 2x events before, it's been boosted chances to the Legendaries, but nothing to the Mythicals, right? Am I wrong? I mean, yeah, Revival Path plus the Mythicals. I mean, he's uh, he's pretty well set up, set up, I think. Uwe from Clan, thank you for all you do, Griff. <laughs> yeah, I saw Griff in his uh, CVC performance. It was kind of crazy, wasn't it? It was pretty insane. Pretty insane. Let me make sure I'm not leaking anything from Discord. There's been one time for Mythical. Are you sure about that? Hey, if you... If you say if you say you're right, if you say that's how it was, that's how it was. I don't remember. I didn't pull during there those, but I thought every time it was two X, it was a scam two X. It was a fake two X. Was it for mythical, but not for legendary or something? Or was it? I don't know. I feel like this is the first time it's ever for everything. There's one around Christmas, you think? Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and jump in here and see how it is. Griffith, he's in the chat. Sick. At least three Teodors. I don't think we have anything boosted event, right? Okay, he does have boosted event for Teodor. Sorry, not Tia Door. Calvalax. So you want a lot of Calvalax? Can we change this once it's set? We can. We just can't take it away, right? No, no. Remove. Yeah. So are you wanting a lot of Calvalax or something specifically? Or do you really care what you get? Because honestly, I think you have plenty. I personally probably wouldn't even have anything in the boosted events. The boosted section. Unless you have a faction that's not filled up. Orcs is not. Ogren Tribes is not. I don't see how they're not. That's kind of crazy. Those are the only ones, that's the only ones I really care about. Personally, extra Calvalax is not going to do much for you. I would just take this off, so then you're getting a less chance to get Calvalax, honestly. You really don't want Calvalax filling everything, personally. Even Teodor. Teodor's not really what he used to be. He's not, he's good, but he's not insane. But that's completely up to you, Griffith. I would say take him out. With that said, what are the mercies for primals for legendary and mythical so primal legendary after 75 summons without a legendary one percent chance so it's a normally one percent chance so 75 it's about a, is it it's 175 right 175 you're guaranteed a legendary let me see i got this notepad the budget notepad so 175 lego i think that's right you guys can correct me if you're if i'm wrong for primal, it's 200. So 200 and uh, 10. 210. For, for legendary, for sorry, mythical. Take it out. Okay. Ashes first video on primal until 2x mythicals. Okay. Cool. We're going to move that. Venom Mage is fine. It doesn't really matter what's there. Assuming you have the stuff from Mikage, but I imagine you're going to get everything from Mikage anyways. Okay. It's not actually letting me remove it. Oh, no. How can you back? You can't back out of this, can you? Once it happens. Dang it. No, get me out of it. Get me out of here. Once you put the stuff in there, you get left with the stuff in there. So let me see who would be the best for you. Calvalax, you have two of him already. There are some use cases for three of them. Like in the uh, Doom Tower wave stuff, you can see the top teams, I think, do actually have three of them. So maybe that's worth doing. 
Yeah, three three Cavalax, three Cavalax, three Cavalax. So we'll, we'll, pull, we'll get some more Cavalax. We'll try to change it up and get something else. Um, Cavalax, Teodor. Let's see how many Teodors you have. Because Teo, it's okay to have a few copies of him. I don't think he's... Like, he's not necessarily as insane as what he used to be as far as speed runs. It's a little bit different. He's still good. But outside of Dragon, you don't really use poisons. You use the burns, the activations. You can do a speed run with, with Teo in Ice Golem a little bit as long as you have a burn champion. You can, rem can remove it? I don't think you can. Can't remove it. See, there's the confirm grays out. Once you once you selected it, you're you're in it. You're in it then. So bad L, eh, he's not not usable in this account. <laughs> uh let's see real quick. So bad L, do we have him? Like we're not gonna be using him. Uh Zavia. Okay, we have one copy of her. Could maybe get another one. I'll switch it up. If we get a few copies, I'll switch it up. Okay, we'll mix it up a little bit. Just X? No, it's not gonna work. It won't let me X. I tried to X and it did nothing. See? Try just double click it to remove. I mean, I can remove it, but nothing happens. Must fill every slot to participate, even if you decided you don't want to participate anymore. So you can use them in Hydra. Who's that? Hmm. Aphidus, whatever, the Beetle. I haven't seen a whole lot of content on him, and I haven't really tested him out either. I thought he was one of the lower tier mythicals. Nah, it doesn't work. You literally can't do it. Okay, so we're going to jump into the Sharp Pools now. The Mercy Rates, 174 because you already have a 1%. Okay, so 174. Uh, 174 for this. There we go. All right, guys. So, try on an iPhone. I can't log in on the iPhone. You guys can test it out if you want. Um, we're going to go ahead and jump in here. 830 Primal Shards, guys. This is the most insane Primal Shard opening I've ever I've ever seen. I don't think anyone's been bigger on YouTube, honestly. Uh, can I show off the account? Yeah, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you. Well, I'm actually, Mr. Inman, going to be doing a takeover on this account. And Griffith has said that I can do it on stream. So next week is probably going to be mostly dedicated to rebuilding 90% of the account, most likely. Or optimizing 90% of the account. So it's not going to be free to play, early game friendly, on, on, obviously. But what it will be is showcasing some, you know optimized speed runs so looking through these champions it's not going to be builds that and they're good they're definitely good but we have some optimizations to do because he is a returning player i'll uh i'll show you the amount of mythicals he has i think next week it's going to be dedicated to so these are the mythicals we have all the mythicals uh we're missing the galathir we're missing we'll actually check out which ones are missing before we start doing the pools. But we've got a, a lot of duplicates. A plus four Crixie would be nuts. That would be insane. It'd be so much fun. Plus four Lizard. Empowered any of these would be cool. Um, I'll look at some of the areas in the game that he's doing. I don't, I don't really know the dungeon times. I don't think he's climbed up on all the stages either. Uh, so Ice Golem. Okay, 315. Good. Spider. Not on stage 10 yet. We will be. We will be on stage 10 and doing it very fast. Stage, uh, stage 10 of Dragon. It's going to be... Under 45 seconds, maybe even under 30 seconds. They're all six-star blessed. They're insane. Fire Knight, stage 10 hard. Um, I want to push a super fast time for that. Like, under 45 seconds. It's going to be a lot of gear dependent, though. And do we have Ginzen? I'm sure we do. Yeah, we do. We have Ginzen. Of course we have Ginzen. Why would we not have Ginzen? Um, then Shogun. We got to climb all these stages. Fast team there. Sand Devil. Going to get 25 fast team there. Crixia so slow. Yeah, well, we're going to get some stuff adjusted. Hydra, we'll be working on it next week. Demon Lord, uh, I don't think it really matters. He can probably just throw stuff at this and it'd be fine. 23 keys, my goodness. All right, so we're gonna be it's a very, very clean slate basically. Like a lot of the, like a lot of stuff's not been too much into it. It isn't glitch. It's Pokemon. Gotta catch them all. He said he's been back for like two months, so we're gonna get him set up. It's gonna be a beast of an account. Not that it already isn't. It is an amazing, an amazing, amazing account. Um, but here we go, guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the Mythical Summons. Actually, before we do that, let's see how many Mythicals we have in the account. This would be the best way to track it, in case I miss it. I got my notepad to keep track of it. Um, how many Mythicals and Legendaries we get. But we currently start off with... Um, starting number is... Mythicals, we have nine. 
nine mythicals and then we have 260 legendaries now obviously this is not including the uh, empowered ones because there's empowered mythical so there's more than nine but this is nine that's actually showing there yeah he's gonna be in a good spot try removing the champs and then restart client that might work uh it doesn't really matter i mean we're gonna get so much stuff and i wish we could get rid of it but i, I literally i literally cannot remove the champs i, I click I click get out of here confirm you must fill every slot to participate can't do nothing so here we go the first 10 pop let's see some sweet gold come up from here let me go ahead and get this minimized a little bit we're also looking for a gnarl horn if you see a gnarl horn spam the chat so i don't forget it and i gotta lock it because we do kind of maybe need that for sand shogun but honestly i'm not for sure we actually do because this account has so much stuff i think we could just skip the mechanics and just go for whatever we want the um closing the game doesn't work yeah let's pull this game as pay to win i mean not really i mean you have plenty of free to play players who are winning i mean of course you can pay and win you can also pay and not win i've seen that happen as well too all right so, oh there we go starting off with the lego borgar the elder i don't know if he needs that but we're gonna put it on down for the uh legendary count of number one one legendary to start this off two temples in looking pretty good epic rates are, are good um i hope we have enough points to finish out the deck of fate it's gonna be close 830 mythicals it's gonna be very tight but maybe we can get it very free to play account you like it yeah for sure did you see that red yes the red you're free to put it in game clearing everything is definitely doable but you gotta play for a long time right you either put your time or your money in venom mage is popping off we're getting so many venom mages i assume all the epics are filled out in faction guardians there's really no reason for me to even check that it's just x and come back you can pull without filling the 15x. I click the X to quit. Venom Mage, Venom Mage, Venom Mage. But yeah, I, quick, I clicked the X to quit and it didn't work. That's how you remove all your champions. I tried to remove them. The X, you mean the X at the bottom of the game? I can try that. What's going on, Marco? How you doing? I'll try that real quick. Though one more Cavalax, one more Cavalax is fine. One more Cavalax, that's okay. We'll take the one, and then we will try to exit out and do that. Uh, can he clear? He can, but it's he's not. He's a low floor right now. He can clear it though. I mean, he has all the souls for every champion that you need, and eighty-seven thousand energy to farm up plenty of stuff once the turn is. Can he one key? Yeah, he can. Is he? No. I don't think so right now. Oh, there we go. Mythical first one. Oh, Eliza Sunbearer. So we already have this guy. Um, I'm not sure if we need a dupe of him, but we do have one. So one mythical very early. I love seeing that. That is beautiful. An amazing champion as well. I'll read through the mythical kits in case you guys aren't familiar. And honestly, I need to refresh myself on them as well. So A1, double hit, place an extra hit of the targets under shield. A2 is an AOE, places increased defense, place an extra hit on targets with less than 50% HP after the first hit. The target's HP is equal to or higher than 50% after the first hit. Destroys the target's max HP. Then his A3. Places a provoke on target for two turns. This debuff cannot be resisted if the target has less than 50% HP. Also places counterattack on all allies for two turns and block damage buff on all allies for one turn. Very, very solid kit there. Increases champion's defense by 5% each time they counterattack. Stacks up to 100%. Very nice stuff. And then his second form, the Lightning Viking, basically. His A1. Attacks all enemies. Places an extra hit on enemies under HP burn. A2. AoE. Places HP burn for two turns. This debuff cannot be resisted by enemies under stone skin. Then instantly activates any HP burn debuffs on enemies under stone skin. Pretty cool. Um, we're definitely going to be using him somewhere. Whenever he gets... Whenever we get into the account. Fully restores all allies destroyed max HP. And heals all allies by 30% of this champion's max HP. And then passive increases champion's HP by 6 for every 1 defense they have when in their alternate form. There we go. I'm not going to do too much of a deep dive. And I may not even do that, honestly. It's Trunda's dad. I may not even read through all of them. Because they have like a short story versus, ver, um, of a kit. So reading through all of them may just take too much time. We'll see, though. If I get if we get Galathir, may check it out. Because he's looking for that one. He is like Epic Light. Legit trash. For Infinity Compositions. He's using some teams and pretty well. Well, he's definitely used in uh, 
uh, Curse City. He was like the only... Ch oh, there, another one? Geralt. Okay. So we already have one copy, I think, of Geralt. I'm pretty sure we do. Actually, I need to go look and see which mythicals we're looking for. But wow, that's two very early mythicals. Strongest defense nuker. Star seems like so much fun. Yeah, definitely. Let me see real quick which mythicals we're actually missing. Because there's only one per faction. So Androk, we need him. Galathir, we need him. Siegfried, we already got. Alas, God. The Gizmak. So Ogren, Banner, High Elves. Um, no mythical yet there. So Frolny, Makage. Okay, so we need Dwarves. We need Dwarves, Banner Lords, High Elves. And then we're good, right? Pretty good rates so far, to be fair. If we keep having mythical pops like that, I may have to get some shards on my account as well. Lego, Calvalax number one. I think we're going to try to do the uh, little cheat thing to get Calvalax out of there. Because we really don't need more copies of him. And it's a 25x chance right now. And if we keep that up, this is our second legendary, right? So we got the one Calvalax. I'm going to try to empty him out from there because if I keep getting copies of him, we're just going to have a sharp pull session full of Calvalax. So I'm going to exit the game, take him out. I... I Got rid of the game so you guys can't see the screen because I don't want to leak anything. Turns back on. So I removed them both from the summoning thing. And then I exited the game from like the, the hard stop, the hard quit. Still didn't do anything. I'm being tricked. I hit the X. Nothing. They're still there. They're still there. I just can't get them out. They literally will not come out. They're stuck. They're hard stuck. <laughs> it's impossible guys it is actually impossible well here we go we're gonna continue on the the roll i don't know why player m does that once you decide you're gonna go for the event even if it's a misclick they say well there you go you're staying you're staying in the event you're already committed you have 700 shards to go and about 100 more cavalaxes to pull i'm gonna actually keep a count of cavalax 25x chance at cavalax man told you it doesn't work that's what i told everybody else but they're saying it does work so if somebody says it does i gotta test it out for him Zavia, he only has one. We're going to have plenty more chances to get some more Legos. Maybe with another Cavalax, maybe with another TO. I'll, I'll step, separate it out some. Player room, senior tricks. Yeah, they're just stopping everything, aren't they? The thing is that none of these champions are really ones he needs. I guess we just rotate it each time we pull one. We'll just switch to something else. Because now we got 25x chance to get Zavia. Yeah, Alpha, that is why. It's because they, they, filled the, they filled the 15x already, and then you just can't back out. Wish you could, but it seems like they should allow you to back out. Because what if you do pull it early and you don't want more copies, but you still want to pull shards? Well, you don't really want to participate in the event. Well, the thing is, Daniel, I don't want any of these champions. This account, it doesn't really need any of these champions, so I don't want a boosted rate for any of them. I would rather him get a better chance at, like, Kaimar. But essentially, if you're getting a 15 or 25x chance to get Kavalax... You're getting a little bit less chance to get Kaimar, a little bit less chance to get Newt. Oh, another Cavalax? No, it's a Lugan. Haha. -ha. I guess the, the rates for Lugan have not been affected. So three Legos. Very nice so far. How many shards are we down to? So we pulled 150 maybe? I don't know exactly, but three Legos, two Mythicals. Pretty, pretty solid, I'd say. Two Mythicals were back-to-back, -back, so they're like within 20 of each other, so... It's pretty sweet. Geralt is a champion who I like a lot. She is nasty in Hydra. Take off Cavalax and don't take off Venomage. Yeah, Venomage will stay. Venomage is sick. I want to see how many Venomages we get by the end of this. That'll be that'll be awesome. Of caution sign. Yeah, I know. Lugan, the walking caution sign. Venomage again. I think she's basically in every temple, right? 4,000 for all those primals. I mean, basically, the best, like the, what's the best price per primal? Is it like $4 a primal currently in the shop? Somewhere around there. Sometimes you get them a little bit less, but if you're buying them in bulk, you're typically looking at like $5, maybe $6 per primal. Though this event is very good, especially for like mid-game players. If you're looking for a lot of epics, I mean, I mean, it's it's expensive. So Ancients is, may even be better because the 2x event for them, they're much cheaper. But you have the chance of getting Mythicals here. Very, very big. And you have a chance of getting Venomage. 
a lot of venom mages. But four dollars like the ideal. Five dollars is uh, okay. It's all, it's all right. And six dollars is like dang, you really need some primals. He already has Teodor. He has a few copies of Teodor. So I'm gonna get a few copies of Zavia, and then we'll pick up a few copies of Teodor. So we're just gonna spread out what we get throughout, basically. Teodor's good. We have two copies of him. Not really sure if you would need more than two copies. I guess we could use three for like Ice Golem super fast speed runs, basically. Like, you pulled the Crab Mythical dude. Is he good? I think he's known to be like one of the worst, unfortunately. Phidias, or whatever his name is. Aphidias. I don't know his name. Dang, guys. 701 people here. That is crazy. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Very much appreciated. I think this is the biggest stream I've done in a long time or ever. Five turns spider hard video. There's a mistake on it. You said Sishia needs to go slower than Artak. But on the run, Sishia is going first. Um, It depends on what champion you want to activate the burns. If you want, if you want Artak to activate the burns, he needs to, he needs to go after Sishia. We want Sishia to activate the burns. Actually, no, I think Sishia being first would be best, right? Because then she could get all the burns and then have a chance to activate them too. If it was still, if it was five turns, I would just look at what the video says and or shown, and not what I said, because I could get my words twisted easily. So pay attention to what the video shows and just go off the build from that, basically. Let's see. How much spend on this guy? 760 Primals? I mean, I don't know. But more than $100 and less than $100,000 probably. Not many people can afford to spend 4K on Primals so we can pull vicariously through this guy 100%. I pull, I woke up this morning, rolled over in bed, and I was like, you know, I'm about to pull 700. I thought at the time it was like 700 Primals. Not to know it's actually 830. And I'm like, you know, I'm going to pull my three Primals. Maybe I get something good from it. So I pulled three primals. I got three rares, unsurprisingly. So kind of trash. But I came downstairs to pull some sacreds. I should have saved it for a video. My first sacred. Got a Lego. And here's a Lego too. We got Scar Torsus. Very, I mean, not used, but we got number four in Legos. Um, hey, Scar Torsus. I don't know if he's going to, nah, he's not going to be using him actually. Not even, I don't even know. He's definitely not going to be using him. Without a doubt. No Scar Torsus being used in this account. I really want to see a Galathea, the Star Sage. I mean, I'd be very surprised if we go through all these and don't... Was it Narlhorn? Yes, thank you. I'm going to go lock him. Thank you, thank you. Oh, there's another mythical. Mythical. Oh, not Ga not Galathea. Sigfrin. I think he already has a few copies of Sigfrin. Maybe a plus four Sigfrin soon? Never know. Let's see. So thank you for the Narlhorn mention. I'm going to go lock that champion because I'm going to be feeding all the rare champs to other champs. You guys are on top of it. I love it. Beautiful. So, what was Sigfrid at? Was he uh, already empowered? He wasn't already empowered, but he is six star awakened. Which mythicals are worth building multiple copies of, I wonder? That's something I haven't really thought about. I never had the reason to think about it. So, three mythicals now, I think. Oh, there we go. Another, another legit Lego. Marinix? Hey, we're dodging the 25x and not even intentionally. So, imagine if you were actually going for one of these champions. This is not going to happen. 25x? Psh, what even is that? Siegfried is amazing now. He used to be like, dang, I pulled him. I don't want him now. But now he's a beast. An absolute monster. I would love to get either. I want to get a Galathir for him. Another Lego. Zavia. Plarium's like, okay, let me show you the 25x does in fact work. Give me a Zavia. Thank you for the Zavia. We're now going to go in here and change this up real quick. Zavia, let's get you some Teodor. We got two Zavias now. How many Legos for this guy so far? So, so far it's going to be six legendaries and three mythical champions. I may have miscounted, but we're going to do the count again at the end. Yeah, Geralt's awesome in Hydra and Arena, and a six-star Geralt is just nasty. Have another live if you rebuild the heroes. I'm going to actually do a live all next week, basically. Assuming everything goes well. That's my, that's my plan. No reason for it to change. Basically, most days next week, I'm going to be inside this account doing a bunch of rebuilds, a bunch of tweaks, and kind of optimizing this stuff. Fushan, sweet. I actually pulled him this morning on my uh, my account. Instead of doing a video for it, I opened up a legendary and got Fushan. Did did give me an extra spot in my faction guardian for Lizardman, though. That's pretty cool. So many epics. Yeah, it's like a 30% chance to get epic, right? I would love to have a Sigfriend as well. Sigfriend, not so good a while back, 
but now he's crazy. Well, Siegfried would be worth having for two for a live arena. Can't ban both. Well, you unfortunately can't pick both either. So that's kind of the downside of that. So we are a hundred, sorry, um, 310 shards is what we've pulled so far. 310 shards. We're at seven legendaries, three mythicals. So mythicals is guaranteed at 210. So we're beating the odds there. Legendaries is 174, so we're definitely beating the odds there. Like we've done, we've done really well in the mythical, the Legos, I'd say, and then actually pretty good in the mythicals as well. Like so far, the rates have been pretty solid. We have 500 shards left to go, so not even halfway through, which is beautiful. Uh, as far as the mythicals, we've got him. We've gotten Garrel. He could plus one as Garrel possibly if he wanted to. The one thing you could do the the dupes of is if you want to have like Garrel and Hydra Nightmare as well as Brutal or like Brutal and Hard, you could make sense of having dupes of her there. So some of these champs, like if you want to use them in Hydra teams, they do make sense, sense of having dupes for. So I'm going to find a champ. I'm going to do, uh, I guess just Garrel. I'm going to dump the stuff into her for for now. Um, just to level up one of these champs, basically. Wish you would have got Sufren instead of the Crab Dude. Yeah, I mean, all I imagine all the Mythicals, either, either they're going to be good... In, they're going to be good eventually, right? Like, they're not going to stay bad forever. They're probably going to try to get the mythicals all to be usable. Because they're going to make a lot of money from that. The uh, the crab, if he's not good right now, don't worry. He might be good in, here in a, in a couple weeks, couple months. Who knows? Same thing with, like, Siegfried. Whenever people pulled him for a while, they were like, I don't like this champion. He's garbage. I don't want him. He's bad. And now they're like, yeah, I actually want this champion a lot. Alaz, Sunbearer. Mezumel. Mezumel is good in live arena, especially to counter some of the Son Wukongs. I've seen her used quite a bit. Uh, she wouldn't be my first pick. I would like a Crixia. Um, but honestly, whatever mythical I get, I think I'm going to try to make them work somewhere. Because it's probably going to be the only one I get for a long time. So I got to make them work. I would be a little bit disappointed if I was to get Mikage. Because I don't really, I mean, in a way, I would still make her work. Because Mikage is amazing in Arena. But she's also amazing in Hydra and actually PvE content. So I may even just actually build, I would actually probably build a second Mikage. Because the Arena build is going to be a little different than like the specific Hydra and PvE content builds. My current Mikage build is like Relentless plus uh, Merciless 4-piece. So she gets extra turns and the chance to reduce the cooldowns. So it's it's a really good build, but I don't really use it in PvP. She's pretty fast, like 317. She's okay accuracy, but it's not really enough to do anything in PvP. Crab's AI does not work properly in Hydra. That's not surprising to me. There's so many champs AIs that just don't work good at all. Fire Knight is one of the biggest ones. Thankfully, Coldheart's fixed. Coldheart used to just throw Heartseeker into the shield, she's, so she's fixed. But there's still so many champions AIs that instead of like doing their multi-hit on the Fire Knight shield, they instead do a, an ability that's like a one turn, one hit, a single hit. What is this? And it's like very valuable to use against the actual Fire Knight. Like uh, for example, Newt doing the triple hitter on the Fire Knight shield, not very good. Plus four Elva, Eva. Yeah, Sam, are you actually coming back to raid? Since you saw the plus four Eva, you're like, yep. Or since you saw the uh, Queen Eva buff, and you're like, yeah, time to come back. Time to get back to playing raid. This bad champ finally gets a buff. All right, so we're going to have to drop some epics in here. Obviously, I don't think he needs epics. If there is an epic on your account that you need, let me know and I won't feed them. But I'm going to say right now, there's no need for epics. We have mythicals that can do everything and more. Except for like a Demitha, but we're not pulling her in this. I am curious about how many Venom Mages I got so far. Can't, can't get rid of Gnarlhorn. If I do, I can make sure to pull another one. Actually, I think I might start leveling him next time. Am I wailing for some primal shards, Ta? Am I going to? You see, I think it really depends on how the, the rates come out here. If I get like crazy good rates here, I may. But my wailing is much different than this wailing. Don't feed the venoms? Okay, I'll try not to. Um, I, my, my wailing would be like 
not even 100 primals. That's still a lot of money. Actually, no, it was like, it would be way less than 100 primals. So let's pretend, let's pretend this next one that I bought 100 primals and let's see what the pools give me. You guys can pretend as well. Like if you're debating on pulling, just live vicariously through me, through this account. Look, we got three, six, nine, 10, 11. 11 Venom Mages, rookie numbers. But we're gonna, we're gonna do this. Can I complete this action? Oh, she's max level. Let's go find this Venom Mage. Or sorry, the uh, Gnarl Horn. I'll pretend that these are my 10 pulls. You pull Galathir? Sweet, how many charges do you have? I probably won't I probably won't be buying promos though, honestly, because all I need them for, all I need to do is finish out the the deck of fate. I think I'm gonna do a lot of energy into that. I think I'll pull maybe my sacreds and work towards it a little bit. But we have no three star I got rid of all my rares. Nice. See earlier this morning, thing to go. Wait, go what? Go sp speed with him? Oh, sweet. Okay, pull thirty, pull thirty-two. Wow. So you got thirty-two shards pulled, and you got super lucky. Hey Griffith, was there many promos you pulled? Actually, never mind. That's a silly question. Yeah, <laughs> you have like twenty mythicals already. I was gonna ask if you pulled many. What did I just feed? I don't know if you know Legos, did I? I sure hope I didn't. I don't think I did. There's no way I did. I was going to ask you to pull many problems before this, but yeah, you did. Never mind. Use a feast. I got plenty of these champs I need to feed. No reason to use a feast just yet. I got to watch out for feeding legendaries. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, mythic, seven legendaries pulled. And my chart says seven. Whew, good. That kind of worried me because they were very close to the uh, epics. Could have been bad. So now we're at 106. We're going to save the Venom Mages for the next one. Beautiful stack of Venom Mages there. Um, let's actually move some. Let's get it to an even number. Actually, no. Let's not move these to the vault. Man, it's crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. In that vault. There we go. 100 shards. So now we, got, we can pull 300 more. And then revisit the feeding. We haven't got the extra Teodor yet. Okay, let me see. if Any responses? Queen got a buff? Yes. It's time to introduce Epic Empowerment. I mean, they kind of did with the uh, Souls for Epic Champions, right? Like, Souls for Epics is basically Epic Empowerment. In a way. It's not Empowerment, but... could be cool the token trader is kind of garbage i do agree with that like it's very bad none of these champs are needed whatsoever well not they're, they're needed they're good they're great champs molly's amazing tomb lord's great fushan and foley are great manaya and sir nicholas maybe after a buff but uh they're not worth trading five or six legendaries for them i don't think any news about free regear i haven't seen anything yet posted Let's pull our list back up here. See what we get. All right. Clicking through this maybe fast. Oh, another, another Gnarlhorn and two Venom Mages. Wow. Them lined up like this has to mean the next pull is a mythical or legendary, without a doubt. Next pull, mythical or legendary. Let's see it. They didn't play them. Oh, nope. Maybe it's the, the next one. They didn't play them say they were going to expand the token trader. I don't know if they said that or not. I didn't see it. I don't. I would love for it to be expanded because I would like something I could actually trade my stuff in for. Because I have some legendaries that I would trade in for the token trader if it was a legendary in the shop that was actually good enough to make sense of that. Another gnarl horn, man. It's like we're they're all popping up now. Not that I necessarily think we're actually going to be using that champion, but it is nice to have in case we do. Level seventy account first ten primals ever pulled: Sigfrid, Theodore, and Mezumel. Wow. Any tips for Elizabeth in Faction War 19? Can't be the stupid double Valkyrie. It really comes down to your champions. Um, a lot of stun stuff, a lot of stun gear, um, stun sets, 
provoke anything you can to control the waves is going to be good. Don't do slow pulls, please. I'll do some fast pulls. We'll do... Okay, I got to remember the next 10 are going to be the ones that... There we go. Legendary. Hawkorn Smash Lord. I mean, a little bit power crypt, I'd say. We'll do 70 fast ones, okay? These are gonna, these are my pulls, okay? Pretend that these are on my account. Would it be worth it for me to buy 70 shards? Um, which would be like 300 plus dollars. Right? So there we go. That's one. Two. Got some good epics, but I don't need them. Three. Okay, I got a Lego. A Samar. Pretty good. I don't I don't I don't need him, and this account doesn't either. But still pretty good champion. We'll do four more. Let's see if. Okay. So far I'm not buying any promos, Plarium, so just a heads up. You may want to make these rates a little bit better, make it more enticing. Got a Venom Mage though. The 25x is working for that. Another legendary, okay. How's gore? Alright. That's actually really good Lego rates. So mythical? Nope, no mythical yet. They're gonna drag us out to mercy for like for the mythical here. Let's see. Here we go. One more fast pull. Dang, nothing. So we have two hundred and twenty spots available. So I got two or three legendaries. If that was me, no mythicals for about three hundred dollars. The jingle hunter, very nice. Newt's dad. Oh, Samar. Venom Mage is popping off like crazy. Twin, this is an 18 plus stream. What's that? New Dad is Mountain King. How many mythicals pulled already? I'll check in just a moment. How many primals hit Mythical Mercy? I believe it is two, or sorry, I think it's uh, 210 Mythicals hit Primal Mercy, which is a little bit ridiculous. We start with 830, 380. So we pulled 450 already. So just over half we've already pulled, which if we hit as many Mythicals as we already have, three Mythicals and 10 Legendaries, be pretty good results, I'd say. 200 plus 10 for Mythical, yep. Oh, there we go, Galathir. Oh, Makage. She, like I said, she's actually one that I wouldn't mind having a dupe of on my account. And maybe the same thing for him. Is it just the first one? I know, I know he's already fused one. I think he's fused her, right? I would assume yes. Yes. So this is actually not too bad of a one. I would. This is actually one that's acceptable. I wouldn't want any more copies of her, but two Makages I would actually build. One for arena dedicated and one for PvE content like Hydra and Fire Knight and stuff like that. So that's actually that's actually a, a cool pull, in my opinion. She's one I can make sense of. She's an awesome champion. I know I know it sucks to get the the dupes of mythical champions. I mean, you want the Galathir and you want the other ones, and I really hope we get them, but Mikage, I think, is worth building dupes of, not empowering her. Not yet. Now, if you had like four copies of her, maybe it'd be different, like even two, plus two, extra speed. I don't know. Yeah, so... For example, on my my account, if I got a second Mikage, I wouldn't empower her. The stat bonuses from empowerment is so low, right? Do mythicals get a higher stat bonus from empowerment? Let me check that real quick. I don't think they do. No, everybody just gets the same stuff. So this is pretty small. So for me, I would go one build, specifically for like Live Arena, whatever way you want to do that. And the other build for like Fire Knight slash... Um, Hydra. Because the building will be a little different. For Fire Knight and Hydra, your speeds are going to be a little bit more, you know, you don't want to be super crazy fast, so you're going to be taking weird turns. More of a speed tune thing. But if you are in Arena, you may want 370 speed for your Makage. For Hydra, you maybe you want protection, 9-piece. But it doesn't really make sense in in a, a Arena. Oh, dang! Okay, 12? Are we going to get a Mythical as well? Come on, give me something sick. Give me a sick pull. Plus two is worth. Plus two might be worth it. But plus one, definitely not. Plus two, maybe. Extra 10 speed. But honestly, he has the blessing anyways. You get three mythical and 70 shards. This is me. Understand how lucky I was. Wow. 
three mythicals and 70 shards. That is crazy. Mythicals get bigger stat bonuses, though. Bigger stat bonuses to the empowerment, do they? I didn't, I didn't see it there. Well, plus, there's you can't, there's no uh, faction guardians for mythicals. So revival path is what you get if you're a new, if you're a returning player. So you quit the game for a while and you come back, you get the revival path. So that's what he's he's got. Revival. That's why he has a revival path up. 320 shards left. Why is getting Lego from the mythicals easier than sacred? I mean, this is a lot of mythicals. If you had this many sacreds, you'd probably get much more Legos than this. All right, we're going to do a few speed pulls here. We'll do 30 speed pulls. Double Venom Mage, change channel to 666. I don't think so. Oh, another Lego. Dang, I guess the 25X player heard me complaining about it. And they're like, yeah, we're turning that off for you. You don't get it. We'll see what the uh, channel is. Let's go to 75. This was giving me some good luck on my... Um, sin luck here. There we go. Sin luck here. Bada bing, bada boom. Channel 222. Let's see what they're actually... Yeah, I probably had a lot of... Uh, yeah. Oh my goodness. Should I just keep the stack going here? Maybe. What is Grand Oak best for? I use him on my Fire Knight team. I actually have him in a very fast Fire Knight team. If Sam asks, my Fire Knight team is actually 59 seconds, okay? But for anybody else, it's a minute and four so far. But for the sake of RSL leaderboards, it's 59 seconds, is what we'll say. So hell, Hades opened 200 sacreds and only got like two, or sorry, seven Legos. Man, that's rough. That is rough. But I have a video on Grand Oak doing Fire Knight Fast with a team. And then I have a team with no Newt. Surprisingly, the team with no Newt did not get it, not, did not do anywhere near as well as a video with Newt. But everybody in that video was asking, is there a suggestion or is there a substitution for Newt? I'm like, okay, yeah, we'll make one with, with no Newt. The video doesn't do as well. So I'm just sticking with Newt. Lego Mercy for Primals is bad as Sacred. 75, then plus 1%. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. Do we get four mythicals now? I think we do. I didn't count Makage. We do, in fact, got four mythicals. Make sure this is right. Okay, here we go. Fast pull, fast pull. There we go. Another Lego. Wow, popping off with the Legos. More gain. Very nice. Thir 13 legendary champions so far. Very solid. But we're not looking for Legos here. We're looking for some more sweet mythical champions. Speed pull. There we go. All right, so we're at... Seven, we got 30 more pulls to do. Pulled 180 promos today and not a single mythical. Well, the good news is, is you're about 40 away from a guaranteed mythical. So, 30, yeah, 30, 30, 30 away from a guaranteed mythical. So, Plarium is sure to offer you some more packs tomorrow, right? You can just swing by. Spend an easy 120 bucks and pick up your free mythical champion. Well, free is, I guess, not necessarily the right word for that. Hey, another Nishak. You were actually going for some Nishak. And a mythical Galathir. Oh, Aphidus. Not really what we're looking for here. But picking up a Lego and a mythical in the same thing is very nice. 13, 14, and then five mythicals. I think he can almost, I think he plus threes this guy, right? Let, let's see his kit. I'm actually kind of curious about his kit because... We may actually try to build him for something when I get into his account. So far, we've pulled five mythicals and 14 legendaries. Uh, Perfect Veil, AoE, increased attack buff on all allies for two turns, and increased the duration of all enemy buffs. So a buff extension and an increased attack. AoE instantly activates HP burn on each enemy. If they're not under it, place the HP burn. Transforms into alternate form, and passive is... Um, HP burn stuff, but honestly, Sulfurion is already in this account. He's just so much better, it seems. Uh, A1. Increased accuracy on the ally with the lowest accuracy for two turns. Seems a little bit weird, because if you're running a champion with low accuracy, then you're probably not going to have... We'll see the rest of his kit. AoE stun. Then two continuous heal buffs on all allies for two turns if no stun debuffs are placed by this skill. So if you build him with low accuracy, then he gets increased accuracy on himself, right? Assuming he's the lowest. 
Places Provoke on all the Misfits one turn, then a Strengthen on this champion for two turns, and increase defense on all allies for two turns. So maybe Mischief Tanking here? Mischief Tanking plus the uh, Head of Decay stuff? When attacked, 100% chance of placing Weaken and a Stun. So this is actually going to place a Continuous Heal on everybody. This is going to increase accuracy. So in Hydra, he could actually have this on himself, have low accuracy, have the lowest accuracy on the team. This will get boosted. I assume this goes on to him, even if he... So if you use this, and this increased accuracy goes on him, does it continue to stay on him? Assuming, even though he's going to have a 50% boost in his accuracy, will he still be counted as the lowest? Does it go off your base accuracy? I wonder. Because then he could be a Mischief Tank, a Decay Provoke Champion, and a good support champion. That's actually some pretty good stuff to bring in the kit. If he can keep an increased accuracy up on, him, up on himself the whole time, this dude's actually kind of, it seems like a Hydra powerhouse champion. I mean, filling three significant roles in one champion is actually pretty solid. Basically what I'm saying is like, if he places increased accuracy, now all of a sudden he went from being the lowest accuracy to a higher number of accuracy and probably higher than other champs, will he still do the increased accuracy on himself? You want him in his first form. Not for Hydra, right? Because it's, well, it depends on what you're doing there. Because his first form gives the HP burn and the activation. If you have champions activating HP burns already, maybe you don't want this. HP burn, I think, is an easier role to fill than the stuff he brings in the second. Now, this is better for Spider, though, right? Not support? You think he's doesn't work like that? His attack and cooldown and crit damage stack. How are you able to spend this much? Um, Fire Knight follows defense. Each time he places HP burn, debuff increases the target's defense by... Decreases the target's defense by 3%, stacks by 30%. That's actually really good. Uh, HP burn increases champion's crit damage. 100%, okay. So yeah, his first form seems like a solid damage dealer for sure. Smacks decently hard. Um, I guess... Hey, sweet. Another, another Lego. Let's jump in here. Maybe we'll revisit him later on. His passive doesn't work as intended. I'd be interested in seeing, like, how high on the Hell Hades Optimizer people are doing with teams like he has available. They do look cool. They do, they do look really cool. Definitely. A Vizier. This would have been cool if it was, like, a few years ago. But now, I don't really need a Vizier. 220 Primal Shards left. Let's go ahead and get something sweet from this. But now that this dude's going to be plus three, maybe even, I don't really want to get a plus four, but if we did, it might be different. Now, plus three gives, I think some decent stuff, right? Or is it, no, it's plus four. Plus three gives extra speed. Plus four gives crit damage boost. That may actually be worth doing. Plus four is always worth doing most of the time. I sometimes, depending on the champion, am willing to break some faction guardian stuff. In this account, that's not an issue, but break some faction guardian stuff to get a champion to plus four. Obviously, mythical, no Faction Guardian stuff, but it's just my look. Like, my Ray, I took her to plus four, and I broke some Faction Guardian stuff at the time. And it was kind of worth it, because she did get the extra speed and everything. Let's go ahead and get... Um, not for sure if we're going to build multiple copies of these two champs. Not for sure exactly, but Mikage, I think, is worth building some dupes of. So we'll just go ahead and drop some stuff into her. Not that it really matters. He has plenty of stuff to level up the champs anyways. We don't need Gnarl Horn anymore, because we already got so much of him. We already got we already got one taken up. You just pulled Androck on your alt. So Androck was a super cool champion when he first released, but they changed Enfeeble to not work on the Hydra, right? Like the Enfeeble debuff, which is what Androck brings and is like huge for Hydra, they stopped it from working the way that it was, which was actually being able to place on the Hydra, and they just do weak hits, which stops them from doing so much of their stuff, which is pretty crazy. Like he just a uh, a, a, an amazing champion for Hydra if you pull him. But now they change it so it doesn't work because of Marius coming out. So Androck, still good maybe? But that was like his main thing, I think. Double all attack works for level 10 spider speed farming. We have two Sulfurion. I think the spider team we're going to be doing is going to be way fast. Like it's going to be insanely quick. He has two Sulfurions. Like, we're not going to... The, the team... We're not going to need the mythicals we pulled for Spider. And 
Hydra, I don't know if I even need them there. We have Archer, so we have a lot of the rolls taken up already. We're not going to be hard off on the rolls, basically. I just want to fit as many rolls as I can into one champion, and then have the other champs in the team, like, just bring in damage. This is not my account. And Griffith's job is to buy Primal Shards. And he's doing it well. And get some awesome champs. Fusion announced. Yeah, I know. She, it looks sick, doesn't it? I didn't do a video on it. Because I figured there'd be 100 videos popping up in y'all's feeds anyways. If y'all want to hear about it, I can share it real quick, though. Basically... You don't get a week off. If you want a champion for Hydra, you're going to want to go for this fusion. Increase speed AoE. Decrease speed AoE. Term meter boost that heals allies. Pretty crazy. No time off, guys. You're going to have to go for this, and then you're going to have to pick up the soul for the champion as well. However, if you're not using it in PvP, the soul might not be that, might not be that important. Brimstone's always good. Five stars, sweet, but... Yeah, share. Okay, give us the deets. I'll, I'll share with you guys. Now, I'm not getting debated. Like, it's it's actually been announced, right? It's at... There's actually videos on it. Let me, make, let me make sure, because if not, I just got myself messed up in the content creator program. Almost did it before. Okay, there we go. It's actually been announced, so here we go. Real quick overview. I'll show you guys. Um, Open in browser. Here we go. So, this is a champion. This is the new fusion. A1 sleep. We don't care about the A1. A2... AoE, an AoE attack, okay? So you could technically put this champion in Curse Set or Provoke Set and make them have an extra roll, though it's a little bit weird because the A1 is just a single target. The A2 is a uh, three-turn cooldown when books, so it's actually a pretty low cooldown. But it's an AoE decrease speed and a weaken, which is so good. Also decreases turn meter, which is great for the arena. Not so helpful in Hydra, the decreased turn meter, but the decreased speed is super helpful. And then on top of that, you have an increased speed on the A3 plus a 50% increased attack on all allies for three turns. So she's bringing an increased attack, Increase speed, a decrease speed on enemies, and a weaken with an AoE hit, which is actually pretty useful, except for the fact that she can weak hit. That's not as good. But the hex could, curse set could be decent, provoke set could be decent, and then her passive, whenever this champion or an ally has their turn meter increased, heals all allies based on their max HP. Their percentage value of the heal is equal to half of the turn meter increase. So, if you have a turn meter increase, this is not just on hers, now it is a one turn cooldown, so it can only happen once, and then she has to take a turn, and then it can happen again. But her increased turn meter for the um, this, be a 15% turn meter boost. So I would assume it's a 7.5% heal. 7.5% of their max HP heal, which is pretty sweet. And then the aura and arena battles, I mean, it's, it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. She's bringing the speed meta back. I mean, I think Armand's kind of already did that, right? And the 28% speed aura is nice. Armand's is a very fast champion already. And he kind of threatens the speed meta. I don't know how much she's going to change that, because she's going to get polymorphed a lot, right? The decreased speed, the weaken, it's like just waiting to get polymorphed. So Arena, she for sure can do some crazy work, but I personally think for a lot of players' accounts who do not have a good decreased speed champion, she's going to be amazing for. I was actually doing an account takeover yesterday for Hydra, and the person's account has an account that was, it was like a, a time capsule, it was like a, a, time, like a time machine back in time. The champion builds... He had quit for a few years. The champion builds were literally like a few years ago. Like Cardiel was in resistance with untouchable gear. So his build was literally arena meta years ago. But the thing is, is that back then, apparently there wasn't very many decreased speed champions because the best ones he had were like Visix. Um, there wasn't that many in his account. So champions like her who bring a decreased speed plus increased speed is so helpful. She's a Nekmo with Weaken instead of Decreased Defense. I definitely think Weaken. I think Le Nekmo is better because of the Leech and the Decreased Attack. But what she does is that she's a free, uh, she's a fusion. So Nekmo, a lot of people don't have him. So she's going to bring support, increase speed, decrease speed. Brings a lot of stuff. I definitely think if you're able to go for her, it's definitely worth going for her. So 178. Um, yeah, we're good. 220 shards left to pull. Let's go ahead and see what else Griffith can pick up here. Hopefully some good player room. Don't drag me out to the end without a single mythical. We got five mythicals, 15 legendary so far. Very solid pools. Let's go ahead and wrap this up and see if we can get something absolutely crazy. Any work on the 2X Ancients? What do you mean? Do not like her? The champion's a skip? 
Is Akrizia good? Yeah, she's all right. She's amazing. If you're actually asking that question, she's incredible. Yeah, Dream Song's a new champion. There we go. Bistafis. Haha, -ha, we're not going to be using him anywhere. 16 legendary champs. <laughs> yeah, Nekmo, well, Nekmo limits Hydro damage, assuming you can go to 1500 turns without him. But if you can't go to 1500 turns without him, then yeah, he. if you can go without him, then he definitely limits the damage. I agree. But I don't necessarily know if this champion is going to be a replacement for Nekmo. Could be, possibly. Increase attack. Increase attack, plus a heal, plus increase... Uh, her kit's very good. Very, very good. Because it's sometimes difficult to fit in an increase attack champion who brings the buff, because you have so many other things you're going for. Like, Mithral is an amazing option, but maybe you want to use Mithral in a different team. So getting her fit in is going to be pretty easy, because she brings some very valuable stuff to Hydra already. And the increase attack and the heal, just like, with a speed increase and a speed decrease, that's already incredible. But then the heal plus the, um, whatever I just said, I just went blank. It's even better. I'm trying to look at these pools and talk about the champ. A brain just psh, gone. Um, Deadpool Crixia? No Crixia yet, Justin. Unfortunately, I think we've pulled, we've pulled some actually good mythicals. I'll show you all the mythicals we've pulled. So far, it's been five mythicals, 16 legendary champions. We've got 160 left, so we're guaranteed at least one more mythical. We'll do three fast pulls. We're going to see a mythical in this next pull right here. Right here is going to be a mythical champion. No doubt in my mind whatsoever. It's going to be beautiful, guys. Get ready for it. Okay. Maybe it's the next one. They, for a mobile game, Raid is very, very complex. And what adds to the complexity is Raid doesn't tell you everything in the game. Like, there's some stuff you have to figure out. The coding is wrong on some of the champions. Some of the champions say they do one thing, and it's not exactly that way. And it's like, the differences between some champions is, it's interesting. So... Increase, decrease, Sill. Sill does a single target increase speed. The champion's an AoE decrease speed. Sill also does a single target increase speed. And her A2, she's she has a heal, so she's not she's not Hydra material for anybody wanting to push damage. Yeah, no, I definitely think I don't think she's gonna replace Nekmo by no means. But I think for somebody who doesn't have Nekmo, it opens up a lot of stuff for her. There we go. Alsgore again. Is he boosted? It's two of him we've gotten so far. Bada bing, bada boom. Two, two nice pulls there. Mythical baby. Let's see it. Oh, man. Come on, Plarium. We're going a little bit dry here. Next 2x Ancients. So, uh, so far, we got five red champs. All right, so... 90 shards. Let's say I was to, you know, go out and drop the money to get 90 red shards. What would I be picking up here? I pretend it was me. 25x is a scam? Yeah, apparently it is. It really, it actually really is. We've got really, very solid legendary rates. Mythical rates actually aren't too bad. We got, we got five in this number, so I guess we need a little bit more to be like two, three more actually. So it's actually a little bit low versus the 1%, right? You'd expect 8 from 800. Theodore, 0, actually. But I, I did Cavalax first. We got one Cavalax and switched to Zavia. Got one Zavia and switched to Theodore. Change that IP address. I know, right? 1100. Are we pulling Ancients now? What's going on here, Plarium? All right. Venom Mage again. We're, the Venom Mages are doing good. We got plenty of those. So we had 830 Primals to start. Picked up five Mythical Champs so far. Hoping for a few more. I would love at least one more. Well, we're going we're gonna to get at least one more for sure, right? Two more would be ideal. Some more Legendaries would be sweet. 
there we go. Some more Legos. Oh, Draco Morph. I mean, we're not going to use them now, but awesome. Awesome legend, legendary there. Mythical, please. Oh, no mythical. Okay, 40 shards. There we go. 40 more. Fast pull. Mythical. Oh, there we go. <gasps> Crixia and a Teodor. The Teodor is good, and the Crixia, that's actually a really good pull. There we go, Justin. There is your Crixia, dude. There's your Crixia. He already has a plus two Crixia. Plus three gives her more accuracy, right? Plus, plus two. You can take her up to plus three. Let's see. Okay, gives her some more accuracy. Plus four is where it's really the sweet spot. That's really where you want to be. We have 30 more mythical, 30 more primal shards to go. Let's see what this gives us. It'd be amazing if we got one more mythical champion. No, 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 I'm pulling from somebody else. This is not my account. What a temple. Very, very good temple. Got the boy Sig. Yeah, we got a few Sig. We got one Sig friend, I think. One or two. All righty. Let's get something good here. Okay. The last tin pool. Very last tin pool of Primal Shards. Taras or Taurus? Taurus, like the uh, epic champion? Give me something good here. Last one, last one. Oh, man. Nothing, nothing, nothing there. So... Let's go check out the haul we've gotten for him. So 830, 830 primals. You would have expected at 1% rate, about eight mythicals, right? So you would have expected eight mythicals. Well, about, if it was 1% and we worked it out, you know, about eight mythicals, we got six, so we're under there. For legendary, legendary rate was 2%, right? So about 16. So we got a little bit better than that. But, at bare minimum, you should have gotten, let's see, Mythical is 210, um, 4, basically. So we did better than Mercy, but not a whole lot better than that, honestly. Um, but as for Legendaries, we definitely did very solid, I think. Legendaries, we got a lot, new, lot of Legendaries in general. Let's check out what all we've gotten. So, Mythicals now, we have 15. Before, we had 9. So that's correct. And then legendaries, before we had 74. Yeah, before we had um, 260. And now we have 280. So we actually pulled 20 legendaries. I missed one. Very, very cool stuff there. This seems more like 2x ancients. So, let's see. Mythical champions. Which ones are we getting new? So we got a brand new Mikage, a brand new Geralt. So now we have two Geralds. We could possibly empower her. We got Alaz, the Sunbearer. Aphidus. So we for new champions, we got no new mythicals, did we? Wow. Mikage dupe, Alaz dupe, Aphidus dupe. Siegfried and Crixia dupe. Wow, that is a lot. That's rough. I guess when you have so few mythicals, it's hard to get extras, but there's still there's still some new copies that he needs. Which is Androck. We still need Galathir, which would have been awesome to get. Still need um, this one and this one. So we still need four. Which of those four would I actually want, though, more than the ones I've got? So Siegfried's amazing. So he has the best ones, I do believe. So, not, well, we didn't get Lazarius. We didn't get Mezumel, which doesn't really need Mezumel. So I would say that the one of the ones we've got, probably got the best ones of those, honestly. With Geralt. I would actually probably keep her. If he has another soul for her, that'd be insane. No, no soul for her. Galathir would have been such a good pull. Any of these would have been an amazing pull. An amazing fresh one. Great odds. Good on Lego Battle Mythical. Yeah, so the new legendaries we got. Let's see what Legos we got. Um, just coming out here to the bottom. We got Teodor. Actually, this, this is actually a really big pull. So we got two Alsgore, Nishak. Orgar, Vizier, Abess, Mustafas, Black Knight, Morgane, Gaius, Hawkorn, Draco, Samar, and Theodore. So for the for the legendaries, it was definitely very solid. 
But the Al's Gore, we got a few copies of him. Very, so many copies of him. But I think all of his faction, no, they're not actually all filled out. That one's not filled out. Orcs, we didn't get another Orc, unfortunately, to finish that out. Shadowkin, no, <laughs> we're just, that's so weird how you can have so much and just can't get it. Player I've heard 255X, can't, yeah. Now let's see how many Venom, Venom Mages we got. Do you think Player is going to drop more than one Mythical Champion per faction? But hey, Griffith, thank you very much for letting me pull your shard, dude. Oh my goodness, look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. 34 Venom Mages. Pretty good rates on the Venom Mage, I'd say. Pretty good rates on the Venom Mage. But the champs we got, what would I, what would I do with them? So, after this, I would probably, personally, before empowering Mythicals, I would wait to see if I want to build a dupe. Because the likelihood of pulling them again is pretty low. Unless, of course, you're this account where you get three Crixia. Crixia, I think, is worth empowering because of the extra accuracy boost. Getting plus four would be super sweet. Um, plus two is definitely worth it. Would you build two Crixias? Maybe. Wait, could you... Removes all buffs from all enemies, also increases the cooldown of enemy skills. Could you go... Let me see something real quick. So, second form. Increases... Decreases the cooldown of all enemy skills, except this champion's by three turns. Will she work like Yumiko? In the way of... Like, could you have a double Crixia Hydra team with Trenda? Does she work like that? Does he might know? I can actually test that real quick. Let's see if I can test that real fast. Crixia 1. Crixia 2. And then do like an Arbiter or something. Oh, you can't, you can't reset Crixia's ability with her. No, no, not, not with a Kaimar, but like with. So like Yumiko resets herself. Crixia doesn't. She doesn't work like Yumiko. Well, that's lame. Why does a Mythical not work like Yumiko? We'll check her out anyways. I want to see what she does. I want to see how cool it looks. She cleans. She does the cleanse. Nothing to do there. Yep. Confirmed. I always get a bit sad looking at accounts like this. Maybe if this game loses craze. But, all right, so Krixi does not, in, in fact, only Yumiko could reset herself. Um, so I guess you can't reduce her, her thing at all, period, can you? That kind of sucks. Only one Yumiko in the account. So you could, her cooldown is five turns. So it's a little bit long. Kymer and her have a good re interaction. They can reset each other, you, you, be you believe? Let's see. Nope. Maybe she resets Kaimar. I don't think so, because Kaimar can't be reset by anything, right? Nope. Does nothing. Crixia plus Yumiko is a good combo, though. Yeah, because uh, she resets Yumiko, but Yumiko doesn't reset Crixia. So it's like, it's decent, but it's not great. Yeah, so only only Yumiko gets resets.
So now I can use this. Yeah, so she get reset. But Crixia won't get reset from that. He just bought three and pulled Herbaeus. Man, that is that's awesome. Yeah, super lucky. Super, super lucky. Let's see what we got in this in the chat. Did it get packed? Yeah. Hi, YouTube sub to Raku. I appreciate it, guys. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. So, there we go. All right. So, um, with this account, guys, I will be doing it next week. And we're going to be rebuilding a lot of stuff. If you're looking for some speed teams, swing by. We're going to be doing some speed teams, big damage teams. It's going to be some big stuff in general. Um, we're going to get them set up really good so we can use all this energy and farm some sick new gear. Um, I'm looking forward to building stuff. Garel, I would actually probably keep copies of. So the mythicals that he has, which ones would I keep? Would I build extra copies of? Garel, I wish he had a blessing for her. I would probably keep her though. Um, maybe. Yeah, there's no there's no reason to empower for that low amount. I don't think there's any reason to empower. Unless you pull like two or three copies of her, I would just keep it with most with most of the mythicals. Honestly, unless you pull like enough to plus two and get the ten percent speed. I really wouldn't plus one because if you wanted to build extras, then you could. Um, with Makage, I definitely would build two. Crixie, I don't know. Sigfrid, I'd only build one, I think. So maybe maybe you could plus one him. I don't know. This guy may be worth empowering. But Makage, definitely build extras. Garrow would be really cool, if he, especially if he had a high soul for her, for another copy of her. That'd be a very much worth... Building two, I think, for Hydra. Because she does so much damage with that jumping in, joining attacks, you would have some pretty high numbers. He has a Chrysias, he has this. Like with Ally Attack paired with her, I think it would be pretty nasty. Have like a Makage in there, Makage, two Garrels. But then you would run into like filling out all the other roles with stuff. I don't know, maybe it just looks cool, but it could actually be cool. But her passive is so cool. Whenever an Ally attacks, this champion has a 20% chance of teaming up and joining their attacks. Uh, with Slayer set, she's nasty. Honestly, I think having her in Crushing Ren, put her in Slayer, is going to be pretty disgusting. Now, there's a lot of Slayer to level up, a lot of gear to upgrade and stuff. He has plenty of silver for that, though. But getting her in that gear is going to be pretty nice. So you do something like... Um, I want to do some really, really big damage. Like, so Fury would be great to have in a team. A double Sir Fury on. He's going to be in some spider teams, but... I think only Yumiko resets herself. Yeah. Garrel plus Trenda is devastating. Yeah, so he has another he has another Garrel he could use in a lower difficulty. I would like to build a, a full auto hard team. Does he have Emic? I hope he does. He should, right? He does. He has two two copies of Emic. Sweet. So we could do a, a full maybe a full auto hard team that does a crazy amount of damage for him. I like full auto stuff. I don't like doing manual stuff, so. No, he's a returning player. The gear on the champions could definitely be better. The gear in the inventory, I don't think it's too bad. Like we have, a, we have a lot of uh, potential roles here. A lot of potential, very good stuff. As far as the five star and six star stuff goes, let's see. We have 915 six star pieces of gear, 449 five star. Honestly, this is probably all just worth selling. I mean, with the amount of gear he has and is going to have, it's probably just worth selling. The uh, forge pass, he probably doesn't have a ton of Rathalo stuff here. Does he have it with, oh man, if he has it with Garrel and Orcs, if he has three, Rathal, okay, one, two. Oh, this is going to be a nasty Garrel build. Oh my gosh. That is going to be insane. I don't really care what the accessories roll, but check this out. We have a banner that's attack banner with speed on it. You guys can barely see that because of my head. Throw that on. A five star crit damage necklace. I don't care about the necklace. It literally doesn't matter. It's a Rathalos necklace. And then we have the rings. That's attack ring, a defense ring. Okay, well, I could throw in either one to be fine. The attack, if it rolled attack, would be better. The defense is actually probably fine too. We have three of those. What that means is now we put six pieces up top. It's going to be a nine piece Rathalos set. So she's going to get turn meter boost whenever she does the hits. She's going to be ignoring 30% of defense from all of her skills because they're all AoE. And then 30% chance to repeat the damage dealt by AoE skills. This Garrel is going to be insane. Absolutely insane. We don't have to make her that fast either because 
she's gonna be getting so much term meter boost from everything from joining in on the ally attacks everything so this could just be attack percentage get her some crazy high attack numbers i'm really looking forward to doing this it's gonna be a lot of fun i don't know how much sand level stuff he has though it may be worth actually getting some oh dang i don't think we're gonna have problems upgrading stuff there that is it's gonna be a lot of fun so stay tuned guys next week Probably starting Monday, I do believe we're going to be doing some rebuilds in this account. You miss the shards, we can watch back. It's just a VOD, so. But, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Let's see. This would definitely be switched over to uh, Crushing Rin, without a doubt. Crushing Rin is going to be incredible, ignoring... So much defense, plus the defense ignore from... Like, this Garrel is going to be basically doing pure damage. Basically doing pure damage. Get into doing some more live arena stuff as well. Get these maxed out for, like, Hydra. Nothing's in Hydra yet. How much money does the account spent? A lot. But... Alright, so... Newt, how many Newts does he have? Because Newt can do some crazy things. Okay, two newts, I think. But two awakened newts. This is probably all we really need. I would probably have kept three, but this is actually more than fine. Um, for Fire Knight, we're not going to be doing the double newt strat. I'm going to do something different. Actually, it's going to be Genzin, Mikage, stuff like that. So Fire Knight is going to be basically the best speed teams already are. We'll get down there. We'll do it. We'll run it. It'll be fine. Assuming he has a gear for it, which he may or may not. I'm not for sure. But where would you use Hive Lord guy? You have six star soul for the champion. A lot of players are saying that he does good damage. Speaking of, I want to see actually the Hell Haze Optimizer. Let's see what people who have every champ in the game, what kind of damage they're doing on these different difficulties. Because I want to see where he's used. I think he could have personally. I want to I want to test something real quick on him. So he currently has, I want to see how much accuracy he has. He has 383 accuracy. How much accuracy I have? Okay. We're going to go Doom Tower. I want to see if he, what he does with his A1, how it works. Does he continually place increased accuracy on himself because he has the lowest base accuracy or the lowest accuracy before the buff, or does it go to a different champion? Lock him out. So him, I'm going to switch forms. Basically, can he be a mischief tank? So increase accuracy on himself. Fantastic. But if it starts spreading that buff, it's going to be weird. Because it makes things a little more difficult to actually tune. I got a feeling that it does not go on him, though. It does actually go on him. That's actually really good. So a lot of player, a lot of people in here were saying that they use him in Hydra for a damage dealer. If you it depends on what the roles you need. Um, you just want to use him in Hydra, but you hear he doesn't hit as hard as passive. Only works if he lands HP burn. So if you don't want to use him as a damage dealer, I honestly think he brings so much stuff that you can bring him in his other form. So he brings increased accuracy on himself. He brings a continuous heal for the team. He brings a strengthen for himself, and then an increased defense on all allies. So he's gonna have two extra buffs for sure. Placing continuous heal. So as long as you build him kind of slower, his passive. Has a chance of placing weak whenever attacked. Increases his champion's defense by one point for every two points of attack when, when in their alternate form. So he's going to get a boost of defense. Like, so his alternate form is going to have a decent amount of attack already. So you really don't need to build him for much defense anyways. He's going to be tanky. So now all of a sudden he can place provoke on all the Hydra heads because they're not going to be... It's just going to be easy. Provoke. Three turn. Cooldown. Provoke on everybody. Could be mischief tank. I think mischief tank plus support... Plus, Head of Decay, Provoke Champion. I don't see why that's a... Like, that's that's a lot of roles. For somebody who pulled him, as like a player who can't fill in many roles, you have three of the... Three, right? Well, Support, kind of one. Provoke, and Mischief Tank. You have three, basically, roles and one champion, which now you can look for other champs and not have to worry too much about, hey, they're going to die. They're going to do something bad. I'm not going to build him like this for this account. Uh, if I did build him, it probably would be like that. But he has a lot of other stuff that would be better. You got to stack that attack. You don't have to stack the attack. You just why, why build with attack? He 
he has it converts to defense yes but in this form the base attack is low so if you build him with h h i would build him with hp honestly so this is going to be for every point like so basically does he default get the base attack from the first one so the, the attack in the first one's 1500 does he just get an instant 750 defense already added on because you don't need that much defense so i wouldn't even really worry about building when it's attack personally if you use him for the mischief thing that i'm saying that i'm talking about You know? What do you think of Lazarius? I think he's great. I think he's really good for Live Arena. Not really sure where I use him outside of Live Arena, though. So, if I was, if I was going to use him as a mischief tank, I would definitely do, like I was saying, build him tanky, focus HP, really just focus HP, HP and speed, possibly speed, though speed could be somewhat questionable because you don't want him taking tons of turns because he's going to lap everybody. You could do speed and reflex or speed and... Um, Speed and like reflex gear is actually honestly pretty good. Plus having resistance to resist the buffs being stolen from him. So a lot of resistance, speed, pretty low accuracy on the team. So he gets the buff on himself every time. That way he can't get stuff stolen. He's going to continually do this A2 and A3. This is going to always give a continuous heal because you can't stun the Hydra heads. Turn off this form. And now he's just soaking everything from the Hydra. That's kind of, that's my opinions. You doubt the base attack in form one applies form two. I don't know how you can test that, honestly. But even if not, you're going to have some attack from just the gear you put on. So it's going to be pretty easy. I, th I think it should, though, right? Which is the best form to build for, as you can use either on your free to play? Well, it depends. If you need a burn champion, his first form is great. Like this, AOE HP, uh, AOE instantly activates HP burn on each enemy. If an enemy is not under it, places it. So HP burn champion for spider or an activation for spider as well. Good damage, apparently. But it just depends like what your roles for Hydra. If you need a damage dealer, build for the first one. If you need a support, build for the second one. Roach boy. I don't know if I don't know how that works. I don't know how you could test that either. Really can't. But I would assume that it does count the base accuracy, a uh, base attack, because. But even if not, you're still getting a little bit of extra defense added on. Oh, you meant Lazarius. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I don't know what form I'd build for, honestly. Lazarius is AoE, places block debuffs on all allies for two turns, decrease the duration of all buffs on all enemies. Block debuffs, and then block buffs on enemies. Turn meter boost, um, increase attack and strengthen. And then big damage on this form. I guess it depends. I think PvP is specifically the second form. PV this is probably more of a PvE form. Still a, it's a great form. AoE block buffs and block debuffs. Plus term meter boost. Increase attack and strengthen. It's very good. This may actually be better, depending on where you want to do it. I don't know where it's at. 20 total in the account, and you're so hyped about it? Yeah, that's awesome, dude. That's super, super cool, man. But all right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I gotta get out of here. We're about to have to go to a meeting thing, but uh, Griffith, very, very much appreciate you letting me pull in your account, dude. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get you star, the Star Sage, but I think overall, I'd say it was pretty successful. We got some pretty good rates on everything. Um, not insane. Mythicals, we ended up with, let's see, six Mythicals and 20 Legendary Champions out of 830 Primals wasn't quite raining mythicals like i was hoping it was i was hoping to see like 10 plus but hey it is it's better than hitting the mercy on all of them not quite as good as hitting the one percent rates though so somewhere in between for legendaries it was a little bit over the rates you would have expected what 16 legendaries so we got four extra so that was pretty solid definitely not 
hit in the mercy on those. Makes me somewhat tempted to buy some mythicals, some primal shards, because I could use some legendaries in my account. Honestly, the first form of solar, it really is, because PvP is where he's focused at. His first form is really good. But thank you guys, Griffith. Wasn't bad. Hey, I'm glad I'm glad that it wasn't bad for you. I think that you get some crazy teams coming soon, dude. I'm I'm really excited to build the champs on your account. I'm really excited to test this stuff out. That you got I'm looking forward to it. But guys, I'll catch you all next week. Monday, I'm gonna be jumping back into this account. All goes well. And it's getting started with making some fast teams through the different content. So guys, love you all. Appreciate y'all. Catch you later on. Thanks for all the support. Don't forget to like this video so it gets pushed out to everybody. Later, guys. Buy some. Maybe I do buy some, James. Maybe I do buy some and make a video for it. Maybe. I have to go talk to the